YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping one of these things right here. So you too can be a part of the mighty Four Kicks Brigade. And so as we grow this army, recruitment is always open. Recruitment is always open. Trust me, it's always open. As long as you got the right stuff, you don't come in here with the cursing and being disrespectful and trying to talk, you know, start beef and all that stuff. We don't do that over here. All right. This is a uh, mature sneaker talk over here. We don't really get into the hype stuff. We just want you to feel comfortable in what you cop. Okay. You can feel comfortable if you bought some things. You bought some new balance. Okay. We do that kind of stuff over here. All right. Those are dope too. Because remember, you can have some $600 sneakers and still look like hot smoldering garbage but anyway let's get into today's pickup and this is a uh a uh a lesson in patience fellow sneakerheads a lesson in patience sometimes you see a sneaker at a certain price and you're like mm -mm, not worth it or just you know keep it official my money kind of funny right now so i don't want to mess with that right now i'll pass on that's being the tour right you gotta watch it being frivolous and i admit it's been times i have been frivolous quite a few times and i just bought something I'm like that why did i buy those then later on i'm um i'm selling them for the low or i'm flipping them okay it's you 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 kind of have some buyer's remorse if you will and that's okay but i encourage you to know the market and um, know what's dropping and know the trends and stuff like that and be patient like yeah those are going to hit the outlets yeah those are going to go on sale or if you just find it at a lower price somewhere else you feel good about it anyway because now you don't have to wait as long as everyone else just trying to wait for the outlets and for the stores that have the discounts for them to remove the quick strike off of them it is what it is but sometimes you just have to have that shoe right away so today's shoe is pretty much a good example of waiting and i had no clue that this particular store was going to hit well excuse me i said it backwards i had no clue that this particular sneaker was going to hit this particular store i was just being curious got a little it's to say hey you're close by why don't you just go in all right so let's get into it you got that jordan flight box so you know it's probably only one shoe if you can lift the entire lid off the box and the cement at the bottom is like gray. So, you know, it had to be a Jordan 4. So if you follow your releases and the trends and stuff like that, you probably know what I picked up. So let's give it a gander. Peel back that black paper and we're gonna pull it out, all right? I'm gonna drop this right here on the lovely stand. And yes, the Jordan 4 with the gum bottom, the AKA lasers, all right? And when I saw this shoe drop, I was in Miami. I was curious, I wanted to see it up close because I already had my ideas and connotations about the shoe. So what happened? I walked into the store, I looked around, I browsed, and I went, hmm, let's see what they got. So on the shelf, there was some Jordan 1 Sports Illustrated. There were some other shoes that I already previewed. There were a lot of mids there for the taking. And the reason why the mids are there like that in bulk is because the um, the training bases have a lot of younger soldiers. Well, excuse me, service members, because it's joint. There's, everybody's training there pretty much, except for the Marines. Um, so they, they had their ideas about Jordan 1 mids. So those always are there. Um, and, and massive amounts. I can always get a Jordan 1 mid out of the military exchange store. I don't feel like that, man. You're going to blow it. But anyway, I happened to look down and I was like, wait a minute. That's a four box. So I pulled the shoe. I was like, wow, these are here. Now, the only issue when I began to, you know, do some reconnaissance on the shoes was that I noticed these weren't exactly my size. However, what I've learned about Jordan 4s, I can drop down to an eight and a half because the toe box is a little unique. As you see right here, all right, right here, my left, your right, eight and a half, eight and a half, and these are eight and a half. So I said, let me try them on. I tried them on, I stood up, took a few steps. I said, oh, wow, and I was wearing 
a uh, a cushioned polo sock, which means the shoe is going to be a little bit tighter. I said, hmm, if I wear an even thinner sock, the shoe is going to be perfect. Scooped it up, throw in the box. But first, let's talk about the price point. Retailing at $200 plus tax, which is 8.25 here in San Antonio. Obviously, I don't pay that. 168 inside the military exchange stores without tax. I also had a coupon, so it took it all the way down to um, 137. Yeah, took it down to 137. So um, that was a good, good steal and deal on that shoe. So um, yes, 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 these were uh, worth it. Okay. Um, <coughs> some people ask me how do you get the coupons at the military exchange store. I'll explain that in another video that's coming a little later. But yeah, I successfully copped. I got the shoe home. I'm comfortable with it. It's a black shoe. Essentially, it goes with quite a few things. Well, a good portion of whatever I have in my closet. But let's get into what caused a lot of people to shy away from this shoe and caused the shoe to probably go on sale and hit outlets. So let's get a closer look. They call them the lasers. Okay, that's the street name. This is not the laser etched. This is pretty much, um, you know, some printed stuff on top of the leather, but it is of good quality. I will say that. And you look in it closely, there's a um, 38. You see that in the toe box right there? There's a 38 I saw. Um, there's a couple other things I looked in here. And they, they do this a lot of times. And I saw it in the Dub Zero and the Spizikes. They had like respect and all this stuff in there. But it's a cool shoe. And the key feature that got me is the gum bottom sole. You know, I'm from the 90s. We rock gum bottoms in the 90s. It's a key feature. And um, it looks good. They could have made this all black and the sneaker would have sold even more. But a lot of people weren't happy that this was not etched in. So it's very, very misleading. And along with the price point of being $200. But overall, a very, very dope sneaker that I was able to get for the super low. If you catch these even lower at the outlets, great awesome because there's always somebody in the comments like oh yeah I, I got these offline for 120 ha ha you know oh i got those for 80 ha ha there's always somebody on some one-up stuff good for you guy love it okay <laughs> i like when people get steals and deals but it's even better when they put in the comments it's always somebody who's going to do better in the comments i'm like you know you pay retail you just feeling bad it's okay it's okay show me that receipt but anyway um Dope cop, man. I, I, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to save some money on these, and these look dope. A lot of the uh, sneaker community is slamming these because it, this is not a $200 sneaker. It's $190. Um, Jordan Brand's been playing with these prices, so um, don't let them play with your money. Just be smart about your cops. And like I said, I like the shoe, but I did not like the price point. And that's just being um, a smart consumer. Speak with your wallets, people. The more you decline to buy something um, right away, in mass, if the community says no, we're not rocking with those for that price. Good example are um, my chlorophylls that are up here. I got those for the low and they drop. And um, you're seeing the crazy prices on those already. I saw um, the Laney 5s that I got down to 159 but they had very few. So that was a very misleading sale. I saw somebody post that on, I think it was Mike Rich video. I said, when you got to the checkout counter, they were gone. That was a shoe I was going to double up on, by the way. I was like, yeah, so they probably had a few. My homeboy who works at Jimmy Jazz back home told me that. Man, they only had a few. That's why they did that. But yeah, you know, just make smart, responsible purchases out there, people. And, um, you know, if you don't like the shoe, pass on it. Or if you kind of like it, wait for it to go on sale. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm, I'm not here to force a shoe upon you. It's just about what I liked and what I copped. And if it was a steal and deal or just something I, I couldn't pass up on because I thought... Um, the sneaker might be gone. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade as we grow this army and everybody stand all the way up. But remember, it's always about, it's not about how much you pay for the sneaker. Why'd you pay that much?
the solution.